ladies welcome back to my channel my name is Kaka Amano and I'm a mom <laughs> I know it's a different intro but yeah ladies this video is for you moms out there especially the new moms okay so let's just sit down relax pour yourself a nice glass of wine or brew yourself a nice hot cup of tea because well I wouldn't say this video is long overdue but you could say that but yeah let's talk let's have a chit chat okay so in this video we're going to be talking about how to stay feminine as a new mom or as a mom okay let me tell you a little story Soon after I had my baby, I think about five weeks after I had my baby, because I had posted a picture on Instagram, um, five, five weeks postpartum, and after I posted that picture, I got a DM from some, well, I got a DM and an email from an organization that promotes femininity and stuff. So they requested that I make a video for them and this video was supposed to be about balancing things out, how I managed to live a balanced life and how I try to just maintain my femininity and things like that during the spirit, how I'm doing it all. You know, that was the that was the summary of the entire request. And at first when I saw that message I ignored it for like the first two weeks because balance what it couldn't be farther from the truth because at that point I was struggling struggling and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate because I had so much going on I wasn't sleeping I wasn't eating I was barely managing to stay alive and someone was asking me to make a video of, of how managing to keep my life balanced talk about scam okay i felt like i could not do that video and you know even a month after i like after i got the request making it two months after um two months postpartum i revisited that email and i discussed it with my husband and he just said if you don't feel qualified enough to make that video then maybe you shouldn't just wait till you feel like you are at a place where you can honestly say things that because right now anything you say would be a lie <laughs> and that's the way I felt so I agreed with him and I, I just felt you know what it can wait so even though this video is not for the organization and it's for you guys I still feel like I might not be the most qualified person to make this video because I am still struggling but I feel it would be better to just share tips and things that I have been practicing you know just where my mind has been at and these things would probably help you as well if that's what you're looking to do the first thing that I want to say before I jump into the tips are it's okay it really is if you are a new mom and you feel like you are at the least feminine that you've ever been in your entire life if you feel like you are struggling you are the farthest away from being ladylike that you've ever been in your entire life it really is okay because the fact that you just gave birth to a human like you literally brought in human life into this world with the help of God obviously is nothing short of divine okay it is the most divine thing ever let alone the most feminine thing ever okay just it's fine you don't even have to do anything else you are woman that's what i'm going to say so like i said you are already feminine you are already woman but if you're looking to be extra and you're trying to rediscover and recover those feminine expressions of yours 
feminine expressions being the things in which or the ways in which you express your femininity and the rest of the tips might work for you might be the case because not everything would work for everybody but i just found these tips really helpful so the first tip is to make an effort i say make an effort because it really takes effort even when you feel like you have the time which is almost never because as a new mom you find that everything is consuming your time you barely have time for yourself and by yourself i don't even mean vague things or luxurious things i'm talking of yourself as in sleeping as in eating as in taking a bath <laughs> you barely have time for these things and even when you manage to have a little bit of time you would find that there are some things that are more pressing or things that you feel like you need to do that are more important than trying to express your femininity. I mean, what is that? <laughs> but if you make the effort, then you would find that you'd be able to include things, you know, in little ways. I say make the effort because you would be tempted to allocate that time to something else. It's not only about scheduling out time because you can schedule out time and something else will come up, but it's about making the effort. And something else coming up could be that you're really tired and you want to take a nap or that you couldn't be bothered because who cares, right? But you just have to push yourself and make that effort, okay? So this, le this leads me to my next point, which is to start small. You cannot go from zero because at that point you're probably a zero. You cannot go from zero to 100 immediately. So you have to start small. And starting small could be starting with something as basic as, starting with something as basic as taking a shower, right? Yes. <laughs> if you're shocked at that, then I don't know. <laughs> you're probably not, uh, you probably subscribe to the premium mom life because I don't know any other person who automatically had that kind of time. But you, it could be something as basic as taking a quick shower. It could be, so you can start with that and build on it. So from taking a shower, you could find more time to maybe put on lotion. And this could be like after a few days <laughs> of doing just taking showers. Then, you know, you just keep building on that. From just managing to put on lotion, you could start your proper skincare routine. You could even start doing your hair, you know, washing your hair and taking care of your hair and stuff like that. So just start small. And to start small, you have to be able to make like a priority list so have your priorities set and know what is most important to you start with the most important things and then build up to the more luxury things okay i say luxury because you can afford to do without them at that point. next tip is to find cheat sheets literally cheat sheets it's not always that you would have the time to even do these things that express your femininity in the conventional ways that they should be done. For instance, if you're the type of person who likes to have fancy manicure done, you could find that you're struggling scheduling appointments and meeting with them to get your nails done. But you could find a cheat sheet. You could decide to paint your nails by yourself. You could decide to use press on nails. You could decide to even use stick on nail polish. You know, there's a lot of things that you could use that are cheat sheets. If you're the type of person who likes to get your hair fixed, like weaves, you could decide to do wigs and stuff till you're able to actually get your hair done properly. So just find faster hacks that would help you still feel feminine and look feminine you know make you feel good about yourself while you're trying to get back to the conventional way of doing these things so yeah i call them cheat sheets and they work amazingly for the first four months you know for the first three months of you know postpartum i i think i only got my meals done twice 
yeah, I only actually got my nails done twice. The rest of the time, it was press-on nails that I got from a very, very lovely vendor, um, and they were custom made, but it worked for me. It worked because I was still able to feel feminine and have my nails looking lit <laughs> and looking really fancy, but it just took me five minutes to literally press them on. Okay, so just find cheat sheets and hacks you will thank yourself. The next tip that I'm going to give is, I feel like it might be the, the most important tip, is to get enough rest. Um, what is enough rest is definitely relative to your situation. For instance, what is enough rest for someone who has twins or triplets? It's different for what it is for someone who has just one baby, and it's different from someone who has a newborn, you know, and for someone who has a nine month old, you know, so getting adequate rest or enough rest is relative to your situation, but just take the time to get a, get a bit of rest because if you're doing everything else and you don't feel rested, you would lose your femininity because you lose your peace of mind, you lose your you would lose your femininity because you would lose your peace of mind. You would be snappy, you would be naggy, you would be irritable, you would be <laughs> you would be so annoyed all the friggin' time. And that is not feminine. Finally, you will fall off the wagon. Definitely, a lot of times. <laughs> you would definitely fall off the wagon. You would definitely lose your flow. And that's okay. It really is because all you have to do is to pick up again. Even if it takes you a month, two months to pick up again, it's definitely fine. Just pick up from where you left off. And you could be watching this video at the point where you feel like you've fallen off the wagon. Just pick right up, really, it's fine. Whenever, just do it at your own pace. Don't rush yourself, don't feel like someone is rushing you don't let people pressure you into trying to come back up when you don't feel like it take your time because it will be more organic that way so cheers to you keep being you keep being awesome and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to like this video by the way and share with every new mom that you feel that needs to hear this bye ladies